Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Sparrow's Journey. Welcome to Apotheon and please excuse me for that naked lady going on in the background. Apotheon is a game made by Alien Trap. It's a sort of platformer mixed with brawler and this kind of very unique art style. By common rule, I don't make first impressions videos on games that have been out for days. I like to make first impressions videos on games that are still not out so that people can watch it, measure if they're going to like the game or not, and then buy it when the game is about to be released. But I had to throw an exception for Apotheon because I really think it deserves the attention. It is a really cool game even though it's not necessarily my favorite genre. You have the campaign, you can play on local apparently, you need two controllers, so this is sort of a hot seat kind of multiplayer. Now I am going to do two things, I have two things planned. I'm going to start the game by the tutorial just so that you can see how the game exponentially increases its difficulty and look at the lady over there again I, I i'm sorry i can't just forget about her oh i like how the light follows the mouse that is pretty cool either way i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna leave the tutorial and i'm gonna load a game that i have a few hours up ahead let's choose campaign and new game the gods have abandoned you what love they once gave is now gone. The sea gives only water. The woods give only wind. The earth gives only dust. Even the midday sky gives only twilight. And with their shepherds gone, the sheep fall prey to wolves. Without the gifts of Olympus, you are lost to the darkness. So yeah, so this game uses the ancient Greek mythology as a background, as a theme. And I think it's very well done. It sort of uses those kind of drawings you had in the past ancient times and that's the art style they use in the entire game and that's what I think it makes the game so special here we are we are a Greek soldier we have been just attacked this kind of reminds me about other game called guacamole which had a huge update lately as well and it's just like that it's a common brawler in horizontal mode you use your mouse to point your attacks right now I can only Punch. You have the stamina bar at the bottom left, you have your health at the bottom center. At the bottom right, you have the weapon in which you want to use. Right now, I only have my fists. And on the bottom left, you have Q, which is the key to change what you have on the other hand, on your secondary. So yeah, so pretty much crap hit the fan, and this is the tutorial mode. We're gonna be the soldier, the Greek soldier that is gonna save the world from the gods, the wrath of gods. Here is a new weapon. Cephus? I'm not sure how you mentioned that. How you pronounce it. Here's a knife. And you can throw weapons with your mouse, middle mouse click, like so. I already knew this by advance, but you're not supposed to know this. I was supposed to fight this guy fair and square. <laughs> Let's make him a little bit more bruised so that people really think I'm a badass over here. So you can attack in different forms. If you use your mouse right at the bottom, it's gonna do... Wait, I'm kinda confused. I know there's several... See? Sometimes he attacks from the bottom, if you use the mouse like this. Sometimes he attacks from the... I don't think the knife is a better weapon to show that. This is the one. I know there's different type of attacks. There you see, you saw that one from the bottom. And sometimes he attacks from up. I'm not sure how you actually do that, but either way, let's continue. I should already know that by the few hours I have in the game. You're still amongst the living. The whole watchman didn't even see their ships through the darkness. Blah blah blah. We have a new friend. Let's go with him. He's gonna help us. I'm supposed to be a normal Greek person, but I'm gonna become this soldier that is gonna fight the ancient gods because Zeus got mad with the goddess, I can't remember her name. Uh, tab for the map. This is the entire map. We need to find the apothecary and find the blacksmith and secure the granary. 
and rescue the prisoners and find a hunter. So that's a lot of stuff Let's to do. <laughs> what I love about this game is, and you know already if you've been following me for quite some time, I'm a sucker for good art style. And this game is just amazing. The art style is just amazing. The combat sometimes feels a little bit off. It feels like I'm playing with papers. With mans made from papers. I don't like the physics most of the time. It just acts so happy wheelish, you know, and I don't like that feeling. But I'm a sucker for the art style, and this art style is just amazing. So, my first objective, at least the closest one, is over here. Let's pick this up. Enter the academy. Let's do that. Find the apothecary. Oh, yeah. This is perfect to show you one of the cool things about the game. So, this is my other hand, and I can equip that there even a shield or a torch if I need to. There's other stuff I can equip as well. This is the torch. If I put it out, this is what happens. So you want to bring it up. Let you see where you're gonna go to. You should always break these boxes because they have good stuff in them. Hello! Surprise. These guys are so easy at the start. Believe me. The difficulty will increase exponentially after this. Pick up all of this. Right at the start of the game, you want to pick up everything possible. Every weapon, every shield, because you're going to use them. And you're going to run out of weapons if you don't keep picking up new ones. So this guy is saved. We saved the day for this old man. Go back to your business. And I either have to choose a Nectar of Healing recipe, which is a health potion, or a Greek Fire recipe, which is kind of a Molotov. Right now, I would say I'm good with healing potions, so I'm going to choose this one. Actually, oh, you, you will give us both of them. Cool. You're a kind sir. Let's get out of here. And this is sort of the tutorial to tell you how to start crafting. When you press C, you have these ingredients available. Right now, I don't have anything to craft. I probably need the recipes. Oh, I already know these recipes, these two. So let's craft this one, which requires two detony of crets. And I have four, I would say. Yeah. There you go. So there's crafting in the game. That is pretty cool. Let's see what else can we do in here. I would guess that we have this objective done. But I want to kill this guy. I'm bloodthirsty. You've killed my mother. My Greek mother. The goddess. You should always, always pick up all of this. But uh, for the purpose of, you know, getting things done with, I'm gonna proceed. Uh, apparently, you cannot bring two swords. You can only bring one Shifos. There's one Shifos only in your life. Let's proceed. Let's get out of here now. This objective is done. I would say I'm going to complete all these objectives in the tutorial. Then I'm going to skip to that uh, point of the game with a lot more hours into it. Because I want to show you the different map layouts and whatnot. Well, this is pretty cool. I can probably push this down against the soldiers. Or maybe not. Maybe just destroy it. The blue ones are the friendly ones, needless to say. The red ones are the baddies. Let's get down here. I'm using down key or S and space, which is the jumping key. There you go. At the start, they are very easy. They don't make any challenge at all, but believe me, this will, the difficulty will increase very much along the way. So now I have a fork, and a fork is a weapon with a much longer range, so I really prefer this one. Enter the blacksmith. Let's save this guy. Still have a lot of objectives to go through. Here's a shield, and I want to show you the shield. So, oh, I can use it with a fork. Nice. So when I press right click, this will be the area at which if some other weapon impacts at it, it doesn't damage me at all. It's very good against ranged weapons if we encounter any archers or, or whatnot. You should destroy all of this for more loot, but I'm gonna skip that for the purpose of the video and showing you more and more of the game. Come on, throw it at me. There we go, he failed it. Because I had a shield up. This fork though is really slow though. You failed. Now I, I am pretty sure if you had shot them, you'd do more damage, like so. That was a hard blow on him. Let's see, this room is all locked and there's a lot of good stuff in there. I should probably try and get it out. This is the blacksmith, and once again, we're saving people so that they can help us in the future. 
I'm going to skip all the dialogue. You can press space to watch the dialogue that he's about to say, and press space again to skip it, which is pretty cool. Jewelry box. Coins. And you will be able to upgrade your armor as well, which is pretty cool. You already see a lot of depth in the game. There we go. We have all of that equipped now. And in the future, with more missions, with more levels and whatnot, you will be able... Ooh, let's pick up all of this. You will be able to choose which parts of your body you want to protect and whatnot. So you have this stat called armor and you have this stat called HP. Both of them protect you. Uh, they start damaging your armor and when that is at zero, you start losing health. That's how it works, basically. You can restore your health, but I'm not sure you can restore your armor, at least with potions. Maybe you can. Let's get rid of this guy. Let's throw the fork. Why not? Ah, failed, I think. You can pick up the item after throwing it, but it will have less durability. Because, yes, items have durability, and the more you use them, the less will you keep it, because it will get ruined. You can repair it, and that's cool. If you have a favorite weapon that you want to keep. So let's go down here to the left. We ha still have something to do on the left. Bam! Awesome. I think that was a headshot. Let's try and do another one. No. See, it seems that your weapons do different types different amounts of damage depending where it hits, where it lands. No, 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 no. Is the guy naked? He really looks naked with a helmet though. He look like a stripper. A Greek stripper! Okay, we're very close to this objective. What do we have to do here? Let, let me see. Entering raider ship. We probably need to kill their leader or something. Oh god. He dodged that. So, this is what I think about the combat. It feels good, but it still feels too much like Happy Wheels. In a sense of, you don't feel any weight. You don't feel that there's actually people playing the game, like, in the world, with heavy weapons. You just feel like you're this paper tune that just bounces from one side to the other. And that feels kind of shallow, but other than that, the game is just amazing if you like this kind of genre, which is not my favorite genre, to be quite honest. That should be one of the reasons to tell you that, yeah, the game is really great. Let's get rid of these guys, like so, and like so. Beautiful. Two headshots. That's one of the things I like the most on this game, throwing weapons. Lockpicks. This will probably allow us to unlock a door up front, like here. There we go, and that's the leader, that's the one we have to kill. The Slave Master! This will be the first boss we will encounter. There is safe... There is bosses in the world, yeah. Wow, that was a good shot. Because he has a shield, we have to strike him on places that he's not protecting. So this objective is done. I think there are prisoners over here that we need to rescue. Like so. Objective complete. You can check your objectives in the map by pressing tab. Pretty much. I'm not sure if there is any place in the game where you have a list. And we can probably unlock this and have good loot from here. Like a Sagaris, a powerful and heavy axe. Nice. And an upgrade to my armor. I'm not sure how to use it. Uh, let me see. So in here, I want to use the new axe. There we go. It's slower, but it probably does more damage. And I'm not sure what to do with that armor upgrade. I would think if you pick it up, it automatically asks you to upgrade it, uh, the armor, but oh well. I want my shield though. There we go. There's no need for torches up here. There's too much light already. So you have also the walking or the slow running. And if you press, sh press shift, it sprints. But it sprints automatically if he keeps slow walking or slow running for a while. Wow, this axe is destroyer of the worlds. Let's pick up this knife. And all the remaining objectives are on this side. The granary, we need to secure it. Yes, let's do that. 
They're taking all the food. Leave that alone. That is my food. Let's go down here. I'm not sure where are they. Oh, God. Seriously? The guy was out there waiting to be killed. There you go. Beautiful. We need to crouch over this. Uh, we need to probably jump over here first. There we go. And then over there. But we need to use shift. That's why the tutorial hint is over there at the top. There we go. It will automatically sprint, but only if you keep running slow for quite a distance. Hey, you saw me. This axe is good, but because you have to swing it up high, it just gets stuck to the ceiling. Okay, let's forget all that loot. You should pick it up. Don't get me wrong. You should pick up all that loot. And you can also use this. There's a lot of platforming in this game as well, which is pretty cool. Let's get down. But, um, again, I'm a sucker for art style, and this is what got me in this game. This was what got me my attention. Not really the genre. Okay, Farmer's Fork. We already had one. That is a health boost. And I think, yeah, we have the objective complete. Let's get out of here. And one more objective, and I think we're done with the tutorial. This just starts like guacamole. If you played guacamole, this will not be strange at all to you. Let's get out over here. One more health boost. Your health always keeps to 100, and it keeps a little boost if you drink more than that. And it will keep decreasing one by one slowly until it reaches to 100 and stabilize there. Orion's house. Probably need to save the guy or something. Find a hunter. Yeah, so here they teach, te teach, what? teach us how to throw weapons. I'm not gonna throw this. I'm gonna throw the knife because I have four of them. I need to hit that device over there. They also give us some javelins to try that out, so why not? Actually, you have two tabs. You have the melee weapons and the ranged weapons. The ranged weapons should be the ones you use to throw. There you go. We hit that. Let's pick it up again that we could open that door down there. Let's pick up these javelins. You can become whatever you wish in this game. Either a melee brawler or just a ranged guy. We need a torch here, maybe. Well, not yet. This guy is drunk. Yeah. All objectives complete. So let's get out of here. This guy will just blah blah blah. We'll keep rambling. Drunkish words that I don't need to listen, because I'm a Greek soldier. And a great future awaits me. A great adventure. Let's get out of here. And what do we need to do? We need to rally to the temple. Let's go. The temple is up above. Let's do that. Apparently we're gonna fight the big boss now. Even though I thought we already had him. So you can use the javelin as a melee weapon as well. And you can throw it. Just like you can use melee weapons in melee, obviously, and throw it as well as a ranged weapon. I'm not sure what's the big difference. But I would suppose the javelin does more damage when you throw it than when you use it as a melee weapon. Where are you going, you freaking wussy? Ouch! Yes, there are explosive moments. Do a Potheon. There he is. Should be the big bad one. Okay, I'm really going to use this as a ranged weapon. That's what I should do. There we go. Ouch, mother effer. The flower! Get away from me! I want to throw this javelin. You have a bow and arrows as well, as you could have seen. I'm going to pick up more and more along the way, but that save file that I have with more hours into the game has, has a lot of other weapons that I'm going to be able to show you. Defeat the tyrant. Craft Greek fire to break open the crack ball. I think I already have that. No, I don't. Okay, so let's craft it. Greek fire. There we go. Let's craft some more because we might use it in the fight. So I'm going to select it. Oh, actually, it's in the third tab. There we go. Nice. And I will be able to use this to burn people. We already have a shield. No need for another one. 
Oh, come on, he dodged that. The more you play the game, the more harder your enemies will become. They will no, not only do more damage, but they will start dodging your attacks and whatnot. Believe me, it will get harder and harder. They have shields, as you can see. It's gonna be hard to hit them. You have to hit them precisely in the head if they have a, if they have a shield in front of them, if you want to get quickly get rid of them. Now, there should be some stuff over there. Um, I can use the torch here for... What is that? That is for more weapons, more loot and whatnot. But I'm going to go straight to the boss. Hopefully, I don't need that those kind of upgrades. That guy is bugged. You don't need that those kind of upgrades to defeat the boss. Hopefully. Shield, yes. To use... Right click to use the shield, I mean. There we go. That guy is done for Over to this side. Let's surprise that guy with this. Ah, man. Almost in the butt. God damn it. He keeps dodging. So, if he brings his shield up, you gotta attack him from the upward or from back. See? He tried to, and he did successfully, block an attack from the bottom. I'm still trying to figure out how do you attack from the from the bottom or from up. This seems pretty clear to me. You will always attack from up if you point your mouse up. And you attack from the bottom, or you should at least, if you go down with it. Gotta pay attention to my shield. I don't want to lose it. Because we're gonna use this shield. We better just pick up... No, we cannot pick up that one. And I might want to save this axe for the box. The box? For the boss. Because this one does a great deal of damage and the durability is going down and down. So let's pick up the wood club. Because I'm a caveman. <laughs> From the time of the Greeks. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Let's pick up this. How many do I have? Let me check it out. Um, I only have one, I think. So let's craft more. Like so. Okay, you want to bring as many healing potions as you can. Oh, we need this key. Okay, we need this key to get to the boss. When we are finished with the boss, we're finished with the tutorial, I would say. This is a health boost. Let's use it. Um, I'm actually drinking potions from my inventory. This is not what I wanted to do at all. I need to pick it up first. Duh. You use F to heal. To use the potion you have selected in that fourth tab. Ooga booga. No longer a Greek soldier. But now a caveman. Ouch. Don't fire at me, you wussy. Fight me like a man. Freaking Legolas. So, now, is this the way? I'm not sure. No, this shouldn't be the way. But this door is sealed. You cannot get there. You can hit stuff in the world, in the world world map, interactable objects like that one, which will make a trap for anyone that is down here, like so. This will damage them. Oh my god, now my javelin is gone. Oh, I still got it. I still got it. Oh god, what a fail. God, my aim is terrible. Ouch! See, the more you play, the more harder the enemies will be. And his shield is gone, at least. Oh, it's not. Now it's gone. Yeah, their shield has a durability as well. But um, you should really aim to the point where they don't have any defense in front of them. Instead of trying to destroy their shield, because that will take a long time. Let's get up here. Hopefully we're near the boss now. Oh, it's over there. Can lockpick this. Probably good things in this chest. An upgrade to skull cap. Nice. It changed automatically. It changed automatically. So that last upgrade that I picked up also changed automatically. I don't like the look of this helmet. But um, if it gives more armor, fine. If I can spike the guy with my head. Defeat the tyrant. Here we go. Oh, a huge shield over here. So you can upgrade your shield as well. This one protects this, which is not bad. But this one, ladies and gentlemen, goes like this. What a huge upgrade. Let's do it. Why are they doing this? Out of my way, peasant. The gods have 
Blah, blah, blah. Let's do it. I just want to fight. Fight me like a man as well. Whoops. <laughs> I'm trying to headshot him. Oh, almost there. There you go. You can either go melee or just keep at it. If you think you're good with javelins. Headshot! Two headshots. You can see his health bar. Oh my god, I know I got the... Oh my god, is my shield gone? No, it's not. Let's pick up these axe. It is just the javelin that... um. I just ran out of javelins. There we go. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh lord! That was a huge strike. My health is still fine. I'm not gonna use the health potion yet. Nice! It's almost down. Come on, throw it. And you can also do that barrel roll, I think. But I'm not sure how. Probably crouch. There we go. So if, if you press crouch and front. The guy is out of shield already. There we go! The tyrant is gone. And we're the hero around here. Statue, blah blah blah. Let's pick up all of this. You should always pick up all the weapons. Because believe me, you will run out of weapons if you don't pick them up. This lord is unlocked. And we're going to meet... The goddess now, Hera. That's the one I meant before. And so, a champion is born. A lone bright ember glowing from within. Blah blah blah. Yes, I'm gonna pray to you. You stand before Hera, fairest amongst all goddesses. The gods have abandoned you. I just Zeus, killed a god. King of gods and men, my, my husband. husband. So we are between this fight between Hera and Zeus. And the gods either took one side or the other, and we're gonna fight for Hera. You see, we are alike, you and I. Wife and the law of Zeus is absolute, and the Olympians are come. So this is gonna be exactly like Guacamole now in the future. You will be able to choose which part of the map you want to go to. Which objectives you want to complete first and whatnot. Okay, now we're gonna choose to be this half human, half god, where we will be able to get to the god world and punish Zeus. Stand up to the cruel deities of or remain here without Obviously you have no choice. I I don't think there's a choice to remain in here. For too long has my husband escaped the I think I was supposed to still be up there. I failed. <laughs> I failed the fire. But there we go. Now I'm taken to the god world. And in there, I'm going to be taken as this outcast. This guy that is not supposed to be there. And nobody will like me. Nobody in here in this world. Here I am if I press map. The Olympian Gates. Okay. Going. This is probably the place where honorable people become gods of some sort. And in here you can watch Zeus just having fun while while Hera down in the world. Ouch, this is not what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to do. Stay on warrior difficulty or switch to champion difficulty. Getting hit will interrupt your attacks. Enemies deal 50% more damage and 15 ha, enemies have 15 more health. Actually, I think I've chosen this in my new my oldest save file. Right now, we don't want to do that. We just want to meet Zeos so that you can see what happens after this. Altar of Zephyr. This is where I think you can yeah. This is sort of a checkpoint where you can teleport from one side to the other in the world. Blah blah blah. Zeus welcomes you into this home during the time of transition. Once the mortal issue has been resolved. Okay. As guests of Zeus's Zeus doesn't know what is happening. It's actually Hera that brought me up here. And Zeus thinks this is just a normal procedure. And I'm like every other normal people out here. Now, in this world you're safe, <coughs> nobody will attack you, but if you start doing stuff. They will attack you, and they will punish you. You can also either choose to pay a fine, or keep being a bad guy. The Agora. I like all these Greek mythology terms. Find the Lear of Apollo, find the Shaft of the Meter. Find the Bow of Artemis. These are your new objectives. 
and you will be able to complete them in different worlds. Now, the world of Ares, I think, is, for instance, a very dark world. There we go, here's the ship I was talking about to get to Ares. What's this? A live one. Hmm? And this guy will take us to the other side where Ares is. Play the boatman and cross into Ares. Let's do that. Not my place to pass judgment, only to get you to the other shore. And here we go. Terrible things happening up above. The dead washed down. Few living feet have stood on Blah blah blah, just get into the other side, please. Now, I was planning to show you the other side file, but because I got to Addis and I can just show you a different landscape, I think I'm gonna finish here when we get to Addis. Because there's really no point in showing you the other save file if I can already with this one show you a little bit more of the game and in different landscapes. So let's do that. Also, I already mentioned all the weapons you can use. Not all of them, but you know, the different types of weapons you can use. You have all, all of them have different ranges and different damages uh, types. And you have here, I don't have too many ranged weapons, but you have stones as well. You have javelins, you have can't remember of anything else, but that's about it. You have triple arrows. Here we go. Here's one of the... Uh, I'm mistaking F by E. That's why I'm taking a healing potion. So I can just now travel from here to where I was at, back to Agata. Which will make things much easier so that I don't have to go through the sewers and the ship each time I want to go from the Agata to Addis. But uh, there we go. This is... A new, totally new landscape, and those guys will keep chasing me because they are undead. And this part of the game feels so spooky. They will disappear once again, but they will reappear. Oh, hi. And these skeletons, they are so annoying. They go down, and they show up once again a few seconds after. There we go. So what you want to do is bring them down and get out of here before he spots you again and starts chasing you. So in here, I need to get to Lethe. Ouch. Someone is damaging me. I need to get to Lethe. Let's try to get there. Probably t for another checkpoint or something. I really like how beautifully it is done. The lightning and whatnot. Enter Lethe. I have no idea what part of the world is this. Cross the river. Oh, I remember this. This is a riddle. You see these drawings in, in the, um, the wall. You need to find these uh, drawings into a door, I think, to go through it. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. So, in this door, well, not this door, but where you come out from, you have the octopus, the bull, and the snake. You have to enter a door where none of these are at the door. So this one isn't it, because this has the bull. This one has the crab, so this is the right door to enter, because you have all of these. And you have to enter the right one, and this is it. And here, you have the pigeon, the octopus, the fish, the bull, and the dolphin. You have to find a door that has none of those. Let me see. The octopus, it has the octopus, it doesn't. Uh, yes, it has the octopus. This is one of those things that you want to note in a paper when you're doing this. The bowl, the pigeon, yes. All of those are in the very first door. Let me check up here. Should follow the map. The dolphin, yes. That door also has a dolphin, so... Let me see. The fish, it also has a fish. Wait. I must have missed something. Because the map is already over. Or maybe, maybe over here, maybe over here. The pork, whatever. This must be it because this is the missing drawing in that door. But ladies and gentlemen, this is just a small bit of Apotheon. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I wanted to support this game as much as I could because I don't think it, it is getting the attention it deserves. I am the Sparrow Ginny. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next First Look Impressions video. I hope you will enjoy this. Bye-bye. 
Thank you for watching everyone. If you are looking for more, feel free to check these suggestions. As a reminder, if you're looking into buying games, consider using my G2A ref link in the description of this video. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you on the next one. And remember, stay above the waters.